Welcome to the Fairmont, the newest model in Robert Thomas Holmes' tradition collection. My name is Christine Albertson. I'm with Albertson Hansen Architecture and am the architect behind the design direction for the newest of the Robert Thomas Holmes models. The front entryway is really conceived of as an old-fashioned front porch. The idea is that there's lots of windows and glass in it little window seat so that you can bring a cup of coffee, sit here, enjoy the sun as it comes around later in the day, and see what's happening out on the street. The kitchen family room is designed around an efficient kitchen with a comfortable, cozy family eat-in area with easy access to outdoor space, so we have a door directly out to the deck. And we then the island overlooks the living area where we have the fireplace and television grouped together. Behind the kitchen area is a cook's office that has easy access to a generous mudroom as well as a generous pantry out of both spaces so that work from home and cooking at home at the same time can be done in an easy and convenient manner. The dining room in the Fairmont is a traditional dining room, yet it's open to the rest of the living space. And the idea behind this room is that it could be optioned as a first floor bedroom or a first floor dedicated study, or left open as um, a traditional dining area. On the second floor hallway, our, at AH Architecture, we try to create transition spaces that are more than just a hallway or a stair, but more like an architectural event. At the Fairmont, what we have is a feeling of like an interior courtyard or piazza on the second floor that the stair is a central element of, and all of the bedroom spaces and the extra living space on the second floor open off of this piazza, giving it kind of a, a feeling of being the heart of the home on the second floor. The bedrooms have been carefully thought through to be sure to accommodate a variety of arrangements for different types of bed sizes. So we place the closets and doorways thoughtfully so that there's always going to be a good place to put the bed or the dresser or a chair or a desk, whatever the needs are in those individual bedrooms. The master suite is raised up two steps from the rest of the second floor, which gives the master suite a feeling of being a special retreat that's a little bit different from the rest of the second floor. In the master suite, one of the things that we also try to achieve in all of our designs is a transition vestibule space so that one can enter into the master suite and choose to go into the closet or the bathroom before entering into the bedroom. One person can sleep in or if they're not feeling well, the doors to the bedroom can be closed and the closet and, and, and bathroom can be accessed without disturbing the other partner. Our goal with designing bathrooms is to create a feeling of, of carefully thought through and well-proportioned room, just like any other room. It just happens to be the bathroom. And this master, I think, really achieves that very well. We have the, the shower and linen opposite the, the vanity that form kind of the main space. And off of that, we have a subspace that goes out toward the backyard, almost like a little porch where the tub is contained with, a, with beautiful windows overlooking the wetland. The laundry room opens up off of the second floor bonus room, which is a very good setup in my view because it allows a family to do their laundry and fold their laundry and, and manage their laundry while they're hanging out as a family in the evening or the weekend, creating really natural and comfortable spaces where you can both socialize and get the work done, which we all know happens at the same time in busy working families. For pricing photos and additional information, visit robertthomashomes.com.